Welcome to SmartPair's presentation of AlertSight's new interface, UXM. My name is John Lucania, and I'm going to take you on this journey today. Our new interface was designed to meet the challenges of today's customers, expecting the information to be displayed to them in any format, including a tablet. We also designed the new interface to house all our SaaS-based products, including load testing and APM. What we're looking at here is our dashboard. The dashboard was built to answer two questions in regard to web application performance monitoring. One, is the application available? Basically, can someone do business with you, represented by the green bars here for availability? And two, is that application performing to your customer's expectation? Basically, is it fast? And that would be represented by our trending lines here. There are different ways a tool will communicate with you. One, you could be logged into the tool, looking at the dashboard and maybe creating some charts. You could use our notification system so the tool could tell you what is happening when you're not actually logged in. For example, the application being down or being slow. And three, schedule reports. So what we're going to do is we're going to drill into a couple of these data points here and help us understand how the tool will present that data to you. For example, the focus of our demo will be on Lucerna Bank. Lucerna Bank is a banking application. It's basically one of our own sites we named after a company we recently purchased. Lucerna Banking application. On the availability dashboard, we're going to see the current status of the application. Good to go. The availability over the last week, 99.95%. And of course, where are we actually monitoring from? Given our international banking customers travel the world, we wanted to make sure we monitor from overseas locations as well. Paris, France. As we move past the availability, dashboard, we want to take a look at the performance of the application because we know the application is performing to our expectations. As we move to the performance dashboard, we're going to take a look at how the application performs from different cities. Right now, we're just looking at the application from Paris, France. So why don't we take a look at how Atlanta performs as well. We also could take a look at a different metric. We're looking at full page time, a technical metric. What about what the browser sees? We can move the page load. We also collect other metrics, like first paint and above the fold, representing visually what the user would see as well. We're going to show the last response time to give you some context for the results here, in addition to some averages. Down below, the action analysis will show how each step performs individually. As I spoke about before, this is a banking transaction as someone moves through the banking portal, viewing a statement, and then eventually logging out. Up to this point, we looked at trends over time, whether that's availability or performance. Now we want to focus on that individual data point and what's driving it. We've looked at the technical metrics before, no different here, DNS, first byte time, etc. We understand the perspective of how the application performs from the networking perspective. We know how the particular application performs from the browser perspective with DOM load, page load. But a lot of times, app server problems, be it database or web service driven, will manifest themselves at the presentation layer within the browser. Could be long first byte times like we're seeing here. The challenge is that's really all we're going to have to go by when you look at synthetic monitoring. You may understand which JavaScript is taking a long time, but that may not really be the problem. That's why we now could see what's happening on the server side. So if we take a look at this transaction here, we could see this step here, then click six, is taking over 5.5 seconds. What's driving that result? Let's go find out. So we're going to click server side. We've now arrived at the server side view. So we also could see those same transaction steps, including welcome JSP, which is driving the slow result on the transaction side at the presentation layer, 509 milliseconds. 
before that was represented by long first byte times. Now we could see and know with certainty which software method is causing the problem. Com.lucy.demo.id verifier representing 98% of the time on that step, almost an entire half second. And then down below, we could then see the entire software trace and more importantly, what is driving that particular result. So let's take a look at it. There it is, com.lucy.demo.id verifier. That's our software method. But there's more, we can click into that now and do a live decompilation directly from the app server, allowing you to know which software thread is causing the problem. Public void verify. This software thread is driving the half second response times showing up in the browser. This is what you would share with your developer.